Uh, fix on mesh, we're getting really close. Uh, we had a couple fixes we needed to do. We needed to get a new universal um, icon for the new type of uh, items in inventory. We I think we've got one more thing we're tweaking, but uh, that's very close. EEP, we have a build that's uh, almost done. We're about an hour away. Uh, it's going to go to QA over the weekend, and hopefully we will have it ready to go on Monday. Um, a lot of really positive changes. Um, Water is better, the transparency is fixed. Uh, the difference between ALM off and on are not as drastic as far as the environment and it being too bright on one side and too dark on the other side. It's uh, much, much closer. Overall, the different day cycles, uh, sunrise, midday, sunset, are much closer to where they were in default. Um, and uh, there was a glow that would happen to eyelashes, um, lips, freckles, etc. when you went uh, and flipped ALM on and off. And oh, also like the neck, uh, the neck fix that a lot of the mesh heads have uh, around the neck. Uh, that's back to normal and looking much better. So I hope everybody grabs the build on Monday and starts playing with it. Uh, this is looking really good and getting really close. All right, sounds great. Uh, oh, one other addition on the Bixon Mesh. Um, there was also an appearance service update associated with that, and I think that went out today. Uh, either, I'm not so much sure if that went, did that go on DD or did that go on Agnew? Alexa, do you, do you remember the story on that one? We had some kind of a role for Dirt DS 415 today. I am not sure oh. Hank Reed was handling All right. that. Alright. Anyway, it's, uh, uh, that, that part is also coming along. Um, as Alexa says, I, I don't think there's much left to sort. Uh, for the uh, for the bakes on mesh, I think we actually put out a viewer uh, earlier this week. Um, that so that so that um, channel should be live again. I think. Yeah, I can confirm that. Beer uh, bakes on mesh was released earlier this week, and Dirt DS four one five was deployed this afternoon. So. 415 was on uh, was on Agni? Yeah, so it looks like. Oh, okay, terrific. Let's see, I see a writer here this week. Um, uh, writer, did you want to say anything else about EEP? And uh, if not, we also had some questions about. Um, Simulator script performance and how that was affecting pathfinding. Last, I've, I've I don't have, yeah, um, I, I don't have much on uh, on the EAP topic. Um, uh, but yeah, you had mentioned that there were some uh, some scripting questions that had come up. Yeah, I, I think it was primarily just about the degree to which the um, the simulators were getting bogged down, and that when they were in that state, it was causing uh, pathfinding to glitch out. Um, I think uh, maybe Animats was talking about that. It's here on this week. That was me. It's all in the Jira. Okay. Oh, uh, so it's so the the Jira the Jira I've already seen. Okay. Um, and you know the problems. Yes. <laughs> Quite intimately. Um, so there are some simulator fixes coming up that, uh, that will, uh, hopefully provide, uh, hopefully provide some, some, uh, uh, some better performance on some, on the, the 
more expensive the the more expensive uh, script events, uh, in particular chat and uh, and sensors, uh, which were taking an ungodly amount of time. Um, we also have uh, very 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 soon. I keep getting told uh, that uh, that uh, we'll also have some way of recording some statistics. On uh, on general script usage across the across the simulators, so we can get a better idea of where things are where things are going wrong and how badly, and uh, hopefully get you know, hopefully get some uh, get some better uh, uh, some better hooks into into where there are problems. Uh, Animats, yes, actually, uh, I, I have some some I have some uh, very good. Uh, yeah, uh, that's been that's been my focus for the last uh, the last few weeks is is uh, the overhead of the overhead of I, idle idle scripts. Sounds like a book title. Um, and uh, and I have been a like I said I've been able to get to knock down considerably uh, the the uh, the time required that many scripts were were using to figure out they didn't have any events to process. Twenty to thirty percent. But uh, mileage, I'm, I'm throwing that out uh, tentatively because because actual mileage may vary. Uh, in response to the question, uh, a little ways up, um, yeah, we're we're definitely still actively working on EEP. The the reason Writer hasn't been doing as much with it lately is because the UI has been in a fairly finished state, and most of the remaining issues were. Uh, you know, graphics shader things that were more in uh, Graham's court, but uh, we're definitely trying to crank that out as soon as we can. Uh, uh, no, I have not. I have. That's a. That's a. Uh, that's a system on the other side of the the simulator. Um, so I've been focusing uh, Lucy, uh, Lu Lucy, the the impact of a child avatar on uh, a a child agent avatar on, on a uh, on a sim. Um, I have not been looking at that. Uh, there's also a question about the best place to get new viewer downloads. Um, yeah, secondlife.com slash downloads should definitely be the place for that. Um, if there's an issue with getting them from there, then let us know and we'll uh, try to get it fixed. Uh, Polysail, how are you measuring degree of underwaterness?
Well, hope, ho hopefully we'll be, uh, hopefully we'll, PolySale will be, uh, be able to address those number, address those numbers. You know, I'm not, I'm not promising, I'm not promising to get every SIM up to 100%. Um, But uh, d depending on the depending on the scripts that it, that uh, that are causing the, the bog down, I think we I think we can get I think we can get rid of uh, uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of the lag caused by listens, which are all over the place. I mean, it's how scripts communicate with each other. Um, even 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 the dialogue stuff uses uses listen. Um, the, uh, the, there were some really inefficient things being done in the way, uh, sens sensors, uh, uh, sensors sense things, uh, uh, tautological linden is tautological, um, and, uh, that's been, uh, uh, I've, I've, made a big hit on those so no sensor sensors are still uh I, I didn't know Kelly broke uh, uh, broke sensor order. Uh, no sensors return the uh, uh, the the order is is cl uh, closest sixteen nearest to far farthest. And yeah, open listeners are a hu uh, were a huge problem. Uh, there was one region I I, I snagged had uh, had open it had multiple open listeners on two thousand channels. No, I think that's I, I think that's probably a uh, not an uncommon situation at all. There are some things. There are some things in the works for after July um, animats that will uh, that will give you some more tools to look at what scripts are doing um, at uh, at at the actual uh, usage from scripts. Polysale. Mostly, it's things like how many listens the uh, the script has open. Uh, uh, I'm not sure about that feature at all, Animats. Uh, rising dots for object updates.
uh, PolySale, it'll be a uh, initially it'll be a cap available from the viewer, but but it's not available yet. I will check that out. We might it, that might actually be uh, uh, be an interesting way to present the information. Or we could just res a uh, e e e either that, or we'll uh, just on the sim res a uh, uh, re res an animesh uh, septa to point at it and yell shame, shame. I try. All right, so let's see what else is going on here. Um, hadn't talked about the Animesh stuff yet. Still working on that. I've got things in a pretty good state right now for being able to both get and set uh, visual parameters. Um, you know, just individually using the script functions we we're talking about. Uh, nothing with shapes yet, but uh, that's probably enough that it's you know gives people something to test out. So I'm going to try to start the ball rolling for getting this into an actual project viewer that people play around with. Um, it probably won't be right away because I'm going to be out for a bit um, next week, but uh, you know, once I'm back, we can uh, look into getting things QA'd and more sort of uh, visible state. Um, let's see. So, I guess that's the main thing there. Uh, Lucy, I'm not sure what you mean by non zero one slider outputs. No, the slider outputs aren't supposed to be zero one, the slider inputs are supposed to be zero to one. There's really a couple of different ways you can specify the slider values, but I mean the the normal way that that people interact with it as users is you just see a um, you know a slider that goes from zero to a hundred. So you know mapping that into some standard range. In this case, I'm doing zero to one um, is probably what makes the most sense. I mean it's most similar to what it's to. under the hood. There's all. Kinds Most of that stuff, out of implementation details. Uh, do you mean the, the neutral values? So you see me in the, the values that we have listed as neutral values for those, right?
Yeah, I haven't looked at that. Uh, the docks are probably still in the same state they were last week. Default body shape, edit appearance floater. You mean if you create a new um, shape object, what the default value starts out as? Yeah, that, that's if, if that's what you mean, that's not actually what the um, neutral column is trying to tell you, whether or not what it's telling you is correct. Um, but it, I can see that that might also be useful information. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take a look at that. Uh, let's see. I mean, one, at least one significant difference is going to be that, um, you know, anything where you don't modify the slider, the slider just doesn't exist and the skeleton is in its just default constructed state. Um, you know, that's, that's different from the way avatars work. You know, with avatars, you always have a full set of slider values and they're at any given time. Uh, let's see, a uh, question about, yep, yeah, yeah once, once there's actually something to try out, I'm sure we can have a, a better discussion about this. Um, Let's see, uh, Animas asks about any progress using bakes on mesh to change Animesh clothing. Uh, no, that's, that's a later, later thing. I don't, even if we do, um, you know, bakes on Animesh, it might be in a, in a later project, but in any Well, patience. I can only work on one thing at a time. Uh, Lucy, what's the what's the bug? Mac Linux mesh rendering bug. Now that sounds familiar, but I've got to look it up. Just a second. Oh, that was the, the Mac Linux rendering bug was the thing with uh, transparency where hair was um, interacting with itself in kind of squirrely ways. The, yeah, the, the claim was, I, I talked to, to one guy who'd been working on it, the claim was that it was just a kind of a fundamental limit to our ability to handle uh, transparency in general. Um, but I'm not sure that's the whole story because it does seem like it's been worse on Mac than it has been on Windows, and they're both using the same uh, the same engine. So I'm not uh, I'm not positive we've really gotten to the bottom of that one yet.
Logan wearing an animesh object. Body shape does not load until I detach the animesh object. That's interesting. That sounds like the... Uh, I haven't seen that before. It sounds like it might be a bake service issue where the bake service is choking on your animesh object and then um, it isn't sending you an appearance. Um, there's a debug setting called, I think it's bug avatar appearance messages. Um, if you enable that, you can see whether you've actually been sent a current appearance message or not. Um, if you're clouded, you probably haven't been sent a current appearance message. And if that's the case, then that probably is an appearance service issue. Um, so anyway, it would be great if you could file a JIRA on that. Um, if we have details, then we have something we can try to track down. Uh, Lucy, have you seen this with all animeshes, or is there a particular one that's giving you trouble? Always the dog, and that's been working before, and it's it's just uh, stopped at some point, or has it always been acting up? Hmm, okay. Uh, you know, it's conceivable that that was affected by some uh, update to the appearance service. It's possible the issue is something else, too, but that's my kind of best guess, not having actually looked at it. So, yeah, if you can file a JIRA, that would be the best way to get us uh, working on it. Yeah, has anybody else been seeing that?
All right. Well, that may be it for um, official topics. Anything else uh, folks want to ask or chat about this week? All right, well, if we uh, don't have anything else for this week, we can call it a meeting. Um, let's see, I will not be around next week, and the meeting also won't be around next week because uh, I think there's also a company, all hands. That's our usual thing at the beginning of a new month. Um, so we should resume on a normal schedule uh, thereafter. I'll need to update the... Uh, wiki page on that. Next week is the fourth, actually on Thursday. I'm not sure, but in any case, it's going to be um, it'll be the first uh, Thursday of the month if it's not the fourth. Yeah, I guess it actually is the fourth. So yeah, that's that's a total non-starter. That also probably means that we won't be having the company meeting then. Um, so it may be. Yeah, we may actually not have a meeting for two weeks because um, it looks like our conflicting meeting is on the uh, 11th, then later in July. So anyway, I'll update the schedule and uh, talk with you all later. And I'm hoping that we can get some uh, some uh, Animesh stuff out in a testable state pretty soon. But we'll keep you posted on that. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's going to be three weeks till our next meeting. All right, well, have a good early July, and we'll be talking to you later.